Hey guys, this is Billy from AdultChello.com. In today's video, I'll be taking you through a quick five minute vibrato routine that I use whenever I want to warm up but am feeling a little tight on time. If you want to take a look at my vibrato tutorials, I'll link those below. So today's video is going to be on the A string, but if you decide to incorporate this routine into your daily practice, I suggest switching strings each day so that you get used to adjusting to each string's unique properties. All right, so let's set five minutes on the clock and away we go. All right, so we'll start in first position, second finger, the most balanced finger. And I'm just doing those finger joint flexibility exercises. I'm rolling the skin of my finger backwards and forth. And I'm trying to do that though with the forearm. Okay, first finger now. So the forearm is pulling back and that pulls my finger back and then it just returns to its original place. Third finger now. I just want my arm to feel really balanced and comfortable. Nice weight in the finger, but the elbow is, you know, feels feather light. Fourth finger, always a difficult one, but still just trying to pull back with the arm and that drags the finger back and forth. Okay, so now what we'll do is put on the metronome. I'm gonna put it onto 54 and we're gonna start timing the oscillations with the metronome. So here you hear it. Da da. Now triplet. One, two, uh, da, da. Now I'm thinking of the pumps. One, two, three, one, two, three. My arm pumping. One, two, three, four, one. This is the hard one because it's kind of in between fast and slow. And I end with the sex tuplets. Now, same exact thing on the first finger. So I'm just really balanced on the first finger, leaning back. One, two, three, one, two, three. There's the four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tuplets. Okay, now third finger, same thing. If you notice, my hand is already squaring up more because I'm trying to really make sure that each finger when I do this is totally balanced. So in the first finger, I felt like I was kind of leaning back, almost like a low rider motorcycle, <laughs> like sitting back, and now I'm kind of right balanced over my third finger. And there are the sex tuplets. And now the dreaded fourth finger. So I, you know, you just do what you can with the fourth finger. So what I end up doing sometimes is I'll kind of lift my first finger. I'm just trying to pour the weight into my fourth finger, but in a relaxed way. So I'm not squeezing extra. I'm just trying to make it kind of heavy, but in a very passive way. So I'm trying to really lean on that fourth finger. And I use third finger as well to help. So now we're gonna shift between first and fourth position. That was one one, now one two. Okay, there's one three. Just trying to big, healthy, open vibrato. Personally, when I listen back to recordings of my plane, I often am surprised that, that my vibrato is not as wide as I think it is when I'm actually in the middle of playing. So during these exercises, I'm really trying to open my hand, I'm still timing it with the sex tuplets to the metronome, but I'm just trying to open my vibrato, my vibrato wider than it usually is and work on that. And again, free and easy. It's a great time also to work on your shifting with the bow. Make sure that you're, you're timing that, you know, kind of slowing down the bow and lightening up to cover the shift. Here's a fourth finger. For extra credit points, you can always think about relaxing your neck while you're doing this exercise. I bet you it's tense. <laughs> it's tenser than you think it is. All right, so we got a minute left. What are we gonna do? Let's do a little exercise where we're gonna start nice and soft, and then in the middle of each bow stroke, big crescendo, and then back down to kind of nothing. And what I'm doing with my left hand, I'm trying to match the vibrato. So it starts with a very narrow, kind of minimal vibrato, 
And then when I sink in with the bow and move it with speed, I open up the vibrato. This is a really good way to get the two hands kind of working together. So if your bow starts, you know, doing different things, your vibrato should probably be adjusting as well. It's not like you just flip a switch, turn on the vibrato, set it and forget it, you know. Okay, I'm just going back between the fingers and there we go, five minutes. So there you have my five minute vibrato routine. Um, uh, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, uh, please consider doing so. And please like my video if you found this helpful. If you have any questions at all, you can go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next week.